What is good, Ape Nation? It's Doc J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to have a very serious conversation with you guys to talk about AMC stock and how the MOAS is going to happen because it's actually a little bit different than a lot of people think. I'm going to talk about what's going to trigger it and how I see this thing actually running to the moon because it's not the way a lot of people think. Now, before I get into the video before I actually explain something very important for you guys involving Adam Aaron and the MOAS, I do have to mention a couple of very important things first. The first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so don't take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last thing is if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description. If you do sign up for Mumu and deposit $100, you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks, each worth up to $3,500, but you're also going to get a free Neo share. So if you want a free Neo share, check out the offer down below. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So looking at amc it's running right now but the thing is we're barely at around like 15 bucks a share maybe a little lower than that and the question is how is this thing going to squeeze and i'm going to just make this simple don't worry about adam aaron don't worry about the sec don't worry about the doj we don't need those things to cause amc to squeeze a lot of people are acting like there's going to be that one catalyst that just causes the MOAS. And it's possible, right? It's possible. But there's a difference between us needing it and it actually happening to, to cause the MOAS. So a lot of people were talking about something that I think I overlooked. And I, I just wanted to talk about that with you guys. AMC acquired a 22% ownership in HYMC. Now, this is the gold mining company slash silver mining I was very excited because of the fact that this could alter the algos in some way. It's also going to help AMC fundamentally, or at least I made that presumption. And I could be right about that, and that is the way I saw it. But what about the other side? And I, I think that's something I didn't talk enough about. What about the other side? The other side to this is this. Looking at the ownership of HYMC down here, you guys could see one of the top owners is Mudrick Capital. Another big owner is Citadel, and I know Citadel are all over the place, but some people are making the connection that Adam Aaron is just bending over to these hedge funds, the shorts, and that we can't trust him, right? People are saying that. And this is my argument to that. To me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether we could trust the guy or not, it does not matter. I like to be optimistic because he is doing things to improve AMC fundamentally. I'm going to give him credit for that. But if you feel that way, right? And if, if it is truly true that that's what he's doing, remember AMC only put less than 2% of their uh, entire cash flow or the amount of cash they have into this. So it's not even a big investment. And there are people just waiting for the explanation from Adam Aaron. But let's just say that is true. Let's just pretend that the SEC is not going to help us because they may end up helping us, right? We're still waiting on Gary Gensler and these transparency regulations, but let's pretend the SEC doesn't help us. Let's pretend the DOJ doesn't help us. Let's pretend Adam Aaron doesn't help us. How would AMC squeeze? And my answer to that is it's going to still squeeze, in my opinion. It still has that squeeze potential. And that's because of margin calls. It's something completely separate. It's something nobody could really control the way some people think. What's happening is in the current market, hedge funds, shorts, they're over leveraged. The cost to borrow money was next to zero. Okay, it was next to zero. And finally, just recently, it was reported that Jerome Powell from the Fed has raised interest rates by 25 basis points. And we're going to see potentially six more hikes for 2022 so we're probably going to see around a two i don't know a two to three percent uh, federal funds rate and that's going to make the cost to borrow money very high and also we're seeing all these bonds billions of dollars in russian bonds just being worthless we're seeing the same thing happening to china the evergrande situation isn't fixed yet so my point is the shorts are in a position where money is scarce and because of that, they're on all this margin, it's going to be very tough for them to keep up with the requirements that they have. Because the first thing is their long positions are already down. And their short positions, they may be doing well, 
but you have to keep maintaining them with a higher interest rate. So with that said, we have a thing known as a margin call. It occurs when the value of an investor's margin account falls below the broker's uh, required amount. An investor's margin account contains securities bought with borrowed money. They're borrowing money, they're shorting AMC and GME, and they're running low on funds to keep it up. So what I see happening, and this is what's going to cause the MOAS in my opinion, it, it doesn't matter if Adam Aaron is on our side or not. OK, it doesn't matter if we have the SEC helping us or not, because those are additional assets that could help us. But why I'm so convicted in this play is because of what's happening on the back end in this market. I see a lot of short squeezes coming because the shorts went way too far. They printed way too many synthetics. They keep they, they put themselves in a big mess. And now that they're printing out all these synthetics, it's costing them more and more money to just maintain these positions. Eventually, the bubble is going to burst. And I don't know when it's going to happen. It may take a few weeks, may take a few months, but margin calls will come, in my opinion. I see them coming. And this is what's going to trigger the MOAS, not just one MOAS. There are going to be big squeezes all over the place. AMC is going to be a huge one, in my opinion. And I'm not giving financial advice, but this is what I see coming. And I, I don't have a date. I don't know if it's going to take a few weeks, a few months another year i don't care so i i bought these shares of amc i just forgot about them i just threw them in there and i'm waiting and i don't worry too much about where it is right now we're not in the squeeze phase yet there are many things that can trigger the margin calls the current market conditions and also also a sheer run up in amc share price if you're shorting this thing when it's at 20 15, 14, what's going to happen if we push this thing up to 25, up to 30, up to 40? It's going to destroy them. And they can't do this forever. I'm telling you right now, they can't do this forever. They shorted the IWM and the SPY to bring AMC down. What's going to happen as they start running? They're already starting to run a little bit. It's going to be a disaster. So if I was a hedge fund, if I was the enemy, right? You got to think in the eyes of the enemy. This is what I would do. I would reduce my position right now. Because interest rates are starting to go up. It's becoming more expensive. I would just get out while I can. And I believe there are hedge funds considering this, and they may even start doing this. So they may try to bring AMC down again to start covering. They may try to push this thing down to like 12, between 12 and 10. They could do that. And that's when they'll start covering. Or, and, and that's assuming they're intelligent enough to start covering at that range. If they don't do it, they're going to be in a very, very bad position if they hold this out for too long. So I'm just chilling, guys. I'm just waiting. Margin calls are most definitely going to come in the future. That is going to be the biggest factor, in my opinion, to trigger the MOAS. AMC improving fundamentally, the SEC, they can help too. They're going to play a big role too. But this is the biggest thing. And anyways, that's what I have for this video. So don't worry, guys. Stay calm, cool, and collected. Wait it out. And slowly... Things are coming into position. The stars will align and AMC has that insane potential that we keep on talking about. Anyways, I thank you all for listening. I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.